Now that we have defined what is a polynomial, let us uh, learn about various types of polynomials. Let us first start with what is known as a degree of polynomial. Degree of polynomial is nothing but look at the polynomial first and let we, we can come to the conclusion minus 2 x plus 1. Is it a polynomial to start with? Unless it is a polynomial we cannot talk about the degree and all that. Yes, it is a polynomial the power is here is 2, the power here is 1 there there is no power or is it a power? Is there a power here? If I just write 1, do I have a power of x? If I want to say write in power of x, I can write it as x to the power 0, is not it? x to the power 0 makes it 1. So, 1 multiplied by this constant is again remaining 1. So, any constant by itself is a polynomial with the power 0 and 0 is very much included. It is only non-negative integers which are removed but 0 and all the positive integers are allowed. So, by itself any constant becomes a polynomial, we will study about that later, but let us first look at this. What is the highest power of this variable? Here you have 2, here you have 1, here you have 0, the highest power is 2. So, we can say it has got the degree of 2, the degree of this particular polynomial is 2. So, for that matter 4 x plus 3 y cube plus 2. Now, what is the power of this or rather what is the degree of this polynomial? What is the highest power here? You have 1, but here you have 3. So, between 1 and 3, 3 is the higher one number. So, here the highest power being 3, the degree becomes 3. Let us have a polynomial with 2 variables. Here already we have 2, but let us see how it looks like. Say 4 x y square plus 3 x y plus say uh, phi y to the power phi. Okay. Now, this is what we are talking about. Now, what is the degree of this polynomial? In this case, we will e see each and every term add the powers of the individual terms. For example, just do not look at other things, just look at the first term. It has got 3 terms joined by this symbol plus and plus. Okay. Now, this first term 4 x y square. So, what is the power here? 1. So, 1 plus 2, here it is 3, highest power here is 3. Okay. Now, what is the power here for that matter? x 1, y 1. So, here it is 2. What about this? There is no x term, that is okay, no problem. There is a y with the power 5. So, here it is 5. Among the 3, 3, 2, 5, which is the largest? 5 is the largest. So, the degree of this polynomial becomes so, this is how we decide the degree of various polynomials. It can have one variable, it can have two variable, it can have as many variables as possible. We look at each and every term, add all the powers and see that degree of that particular term, degree of this term, degree of this term. If you have few more, you keep on seeing all the degrees, see which is the highest. Whichever is the highest, that is the degree of the entire polynomial. Okay, so, degree is what you know adding the powers. Suppose I just write a polynomial with only constant 2. Is it a polynomial? You may say where is a con variable. Okay, I will put a variable for you which does not change the original polynomial. Can I make it as like this? Can I write 2 as 2 into x to the power 0? Yes. So, any constant by itself is a polynomial provided we give a variable with the power 0 and 0 is allowed only negative terms are not allowed is not it. So, now what is the degree of this polynomial? The degree is 0. So, you can say a 0 degree polynomial basically does not have any variable. If I want I can put a variable and put a 0 there. So, any variable to the power 0, any constant to the power 0, anything to the power 0 becomes 1. So, this is 2 into 1 making it 2. So, a 0 degree polynomial is basically a constant. Okay, So, that is what we call as 0 degree polynomial. Now, apart from this, there are few more things we must know about polynomials. This is something you would have already studied in your smaller classes also, but we can just learn some names. If you have a polynomial x square plus 2 x minus 1, one look at it you know the power is 2 or the degree is 2, highest power is 2. What is the name of this polynomial? Every polynomial should have some specific name. I am not asking you to name all the powers up to I do not know how long you can go, but at least if the power is 2 you can have a name, if the power is 3 you can have a name to that extent we can go. So, when the power is 2 this is known as quadratic polynomial. 
2. So, the obviously we have mark, uh, you know missed the 1. Suppose it is say 3 x plus 2. Now, what is the power? What is the degree of this polynomial? Which is 1, the highest power is 1. So, it must have which is a very common name linear polynomial. I am just writing p there. 3 x plus 2, the degree is 1. So, it is linear. So, 1 means linear, 2 means quadratic. Obviously, we can have a name for 3 also. Say 3 x cube plus 2 x plus 5, something like that. As long as we have a x cube term, we do not mind whether every term is there or not. Okay, you understand? If I write this as 3 x cube plus say uh, 4 x square plus 2 x plus 5. What is the difference between this and this? Except for this extra term here, nothing else is the difference. But the power here, highest power or the degree here continues to be 3. Here also it continues to be 3 only. So, it is the highest term that is important that is going to decide the name. Between these two, there is no, no change in the name because both of them in any case will be called cubic polynomial because the highest power or the degree of the polynomial is 3. So, up to 3 we have done. In fact, there is also a name for 4. Uh, you have say 2 x to the power 4 plus 5. That is enough. We just need a highest power. Other terms can be there, need not be there, does not make any difference. Okay. So, what is this called? Now, you have cubic, you have quadratic, it is linear. Obviously, some name has been given that is known as biquadratic. Very rarely this term is used. So, after cubic everything just becomes polynomial. You just say polynomial, it means any of the thing. Up to cubic, you can generally name it. Sometimes even this power 4 is used sometimes, not always. Anything above than that, it is just you know, if I just write say uh, 5, not 5 say, let us make it as uh, 3 x to the power 5 plus you know 2, something like that. The highest power is 5, I do not have to give a name for this. This is just a polynomial of the degree 5, that is all. So, extra no name is given for this, this is just a polynomial with degree 5. For the 1, 2, 3, 4, the names have been given. So, this is regarding the names which are because of the powers of the variable. Apart from that, just like your algebraic expressions, we also have names according to the number of terms it has got. For example, if I, yes, from here itself we can learn. How many terms are there? 1, 2, 3. So, even though the degree is 2, there are 3 terms, it is known as trinomial, trinomial. So, I can just write here, because there are 3 terms, that is all. So, obviously, what about this? Two terms. So, that will give me the name binomial. So, the trinomial, binomial and let us say only 2, which is nothing but 2 x to the power 0, it is known as monomial. So, depending upon the number of terms, we have three uh, you know names already, monomial, binomial, trinomial. For 4, it is not given, just a polynomial. So, the word polynomial can be both for degree as well as the number of terms. If you want to specifically say something about the degree, if the degree is say 5, then you say polynomial in degree 5, that is what it means. It does not mean that it has got many terms, it can still have only 2 terms. So, it is actually a binomial with a degree 5. So, it is a fifth degree binomial that means highest degree is 5 that is all. So, there are two terms with the highest power or the highest uh, you know degree of the polynomial being 5. No specific name for this as far as the degree is concerned, but the name is there as far as the number of terms is concerned. So, this is a binomial, this is a binomial, this is a polynomial because there are four terms we do not have a name for that. This is three terms, so I can call it trinomial then single term I can call it monomial. So, these are just uh, names you know for you to understand what they are all about. Sometimes when they just say a monomial your mind should immediately go that there must be only one term. The word says binomial that means you have to make sure that there are two terms. Okay. If the question says trinomial and you end up seeing only two terms then you can think why the question is wrong. It says the trinomial but I am seeing only two terms. So, that is why these names are important for us to understand. But the degree is of course, equally important. See that we remember quadratic 2 degree linear single degree that is the degree being 1 cubic when the degree is 3 and bi quadratic when the degree is 4. So, these are just uh, some standard names. So, before we go into understanding much more about the polynomials let us just remember these names and then now we can proceed and learn something more.